Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. Jessica Chenyuk, a member of the Angular team, published an article about the upcoming changes in hydration. Starting with Angular 16, we will have non-destructive hydration, meaning that the DOM elements will not be destroyed and rebuilt after Angular activates itself. Non-destructive hydration is just the beginning. At the end of the article, Jessica gave some hints about the upcoming features. And that would be partial hydration and resumability. Very simplified, both techniques try to send JavaScript to the browser only for those components that are active. Darius Kalbarczyk interviewed Minko Gechev about the future of Angular. Minko is the current product lead of Angular at Google. It was a nice overview of all the new technologies like standalone components, signals, hydration, but he didn't reveal anything new. What I found a little bit unusual was that Minko was quite often referring to a new and upcoming authoring format. Just speculating, but this might be something for 2024. And Darius also hosted a webinar with Manfred Steyer. The webinar was mainly live coding and Manfred covered all facets of signals. Manfred started to integrate signals into an existing component and then moved on to the interoperability with RxJS, a little bit about the state management and ended with an outlook on the signal component. Angular 16 with the signals will already be available in May, so we can expect that the code that we have seen in this webinar will not change significantly. And that's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you next Monday. Goodbye.